I'm going to keep it rolling. <laughs> this is a, a woman that came in my class about a year ago and says, Carol, I don't know if I can do this, you know. And I don't know if I'll be prepared. So she comes in completely typed, ready to go, and has been killing every time she goes off. Hello. Give her a round of applause, Lorraine Crotzer. <laughs> Um, my dear husband over here, he just turned 60 on Sunday. And you know, you know, decade, you know, when you turn a decade, it's kind of difficult. Each decade that comes along, it's a little difficult, but uh, but now at least he's eligible to get the senior discount at the movie theater. <laughs> but I have a story to tell you about that. About a year ago, we, uh, by the way, I'm not too far behind him, but uh, about a year ago, we went to a movie, and I happened to have a, a discount coupon for the evening movie rate. So we walked up to the ticket clerk and presented the, the movie coupon, and she looked at the coupon, she looked rather perplexed, and looked at us and looked at the coupon and she said, just so you know, the senior discount is, saves you more money than your coupon. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, then bitch, give us the senior discount then. Of course, that's how I wish it went down, but that's not what happened. We kind of went, uh, uh, no, we're not seniors. As I'm getting ready to pull out my ID to prove the fact. <laughs> we just take the coupon discount, please. Of course, it didn't help we were going to see the best exotic Marigold Hotel. Which happened to be about a bunch of seniors. <laughs> Now, when we go to the movies, I like to go early because I like to have my pick of seats. You know, I like to pick out where I'm going to sit. But and, you, and when the people start filing in, you notice how people tend to leave a seat between you and the next party. You kind of create a little bit of a buffer zone. And uh, and and then that's fine if it's not going to be a crowded theater. But uh, you know, once they dim the lights and you're kind of settling in watching the previews, and here come the latecomers. They're coming up the aisle in the seat, and they want to be in the prime real estate section where you're sitting, the seats that you got there early to get. And you don't want to make eye contact because you know they're going to ask you, is that seat taken? I don't know about you, I'm not very good at lying, so, you know, because I, I know that person that asked me if I'm saving that seat will confront me at the end of the movie theater and say, excuse me, I thought you said you were saving that seat. <laughs> it's always my luck that I sit next to the people that are, uh, carrying on a conversation. You know what I'm talking about. They're kind of the clueless wonder. They're going, uh, they don't know what's happening in the movie. They're going to their partner. I don't know what's happening in the movie. <laughs> Who is that guy? <laughs> I thought he was dead. <laughs> what? It's a flashback? articulate everything that's happening in the movie. Oh, he's about ready to kiss the girl. <laughs> he's putting his arm around her. <laughs> or the person that talks to the movie person in the or talks to the movie itself. <laughs> no, the call is coming from inside the house. <laughs> Now my husband over here, he likes to ask me the question during the movie. Who was that 
guy. <laughs> Who's that actor? Where have I seen him before? <laughs> oh my God. I don't know. Let me think about it. He has given me an assignment and I have accepted the challenge. I gotta figure out who that person was. Let me see. Okay, he was in that miniseries with Steve and Shunny. <laughs> Now I'm asking him, I missed about five minutes of a uh, plot now. And I'm asking him, well, who is that guy? <laughs> is this a flashback? <laughs> <laughs> then there's the person, the, uh, the people that uh, are the emotional movie watchers. We're talking about the gaspers, the smirkers. <laughs> You know, they see some immoral act being performed on the screen and they're going, oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, if you go to a, if you are knowingly going to an R-rated movie and you see some stuff on the screen, you need to kind of keep your noises in check, okay? <laughs> yeah. But I like to think there's an exception for crying. Because I'm an emotional movie watcher. You know, you know the feeling. You're watching the movie, you don't expect it, but then all of a sudden, you know, your throat constricts, your sinuses are burning, your head is throbbing because you have to blow your nose. You have to blow your nose, you have to figure out how to not let anyone else in that theater know that you're crying. Because you don't want anyone to know you're crying. Especially the armrest dealer next to you. <laughs> so you're desperately seeking for a, a, a tissue or that greasy napkin you were using for the popcorn. <laughs> and so you try to do one of these numbers. But you know that's not cutting it. <laughs> because you really want to, you know, get out of that movie theater, blow your nose, start crying, release that tension. In the meantime, that guy's chasing after you, wanting to know why you said you were saving that seat. <laughs> but you guys really have a difficult time because I know you really don't want to let on that you're crying. Because I can tell when my husband's getting emotional in a movie, because I'd be watching the movie and then all of a sudden the seat starts shaking. <laughs> and I look over and there he is going. <laughs> but I can guarantee I will cry with any movie that has a horse in it. You know, it's always some poor crippled horse has to win the race, there's a little boy in it. I always cry when there's a movie about dogs, Lassie, Old Yeller. Movies about cats. No. <laughs> Remember that movie, it was called The Incredible Journey, an Walt Disney movie. These poor animals had to travel all across Canada to reach their home. Oh, that's right, there was a cat in that. Okay, well, cats too. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, I just have one question before I leave, and I just want to know if that seat's taken. Yeah. <laughs> Watch out for me at the movies. <laughs> <laughs>